Hey everyone, this is Fireworks Tutorial, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to add a top banner to your UCA site. And I will be kind of rushing on this um, because of the um, YouTube limit. So, this might require some time for you, but I'm just going to show you briefly what you're, gonna, you're supposed to do. Um, this is the simplest way I found, and hopefully it's simple for you guys because there are other ways that are mm, pretty tough so here we go first of all we're gonna double click on my websites and um, just log into your UCAUSE account UCAUSE.com or UNET.com and log on to your account what you wanna do is click on the website you want to edit click on both the site and the control panel in this case, we're pretty much done with using the web top. You don't need it anymore. You can close that. I'll leave it open just in case. Okay, what you want to do is first of all go to this page. I actually, first of all, I'm going to show you how to change your templates. And um, just so you guys know, this will not work with all the templates available on the UCOS site. So. Um, some some of them, I'll, I'll show you through the video why they might not work, and because I've tried a few before I made the video. So here we go. First of all, click on Page Editor, go to Common Settings, and right here, click on Site Site Design. Click Select Design, and you can change your designs. So that's how you do that. Okay. Okay, back to this page. First of all, what you want to do is take a good look at your banner, your top banner right here. This is the exact same banner as actually this is the exact same template as the template I have on my main site right now, except in different color. So what I want to do is take a good look at it and see the ones that need editing. So for example, I want to add my very own banner on this part, obviously. But if I take out this part, this part will have a head showing. So as you guys can see, there's a problem right there. So what we want to do is we're going to take both of these and edit them. Just to make it look like our own and make it pretty and all that. First of all, we're going to go to, we're going to take its dimensions. So we're going to go to tools, page info, media, and right here you guys can see a bunch of contents so what you want to do is scroll through them since this is a newly launched website I guess you can, can say it'll be a tad bit easier than a website that's been on because it might have some pictures more other pictures and medias on it so there okay here's our first banner which is the top part which is right here so you guys can see the head showing. Just save it. And we're going to name it top. Take a look at our second one. And just write this part. We're going to save it. And name it bottom. Okay, we're pretty much done for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to launch up either any image editing program either GIMP, Photoshop, Fireworks, Paint if, although it might not look good but um, I'm gonna load up GIMP just in case people are gonna complain they don't have Photoshop and then if you're complaining you don't have GIMP GIMP is free okay just search GIMP on Google and as you guys can see we're gonna click and drag our top banner right here what you guys can do is just take the dimensions of the top banner simply by hovering your mouse over it and you guys can see the dimensions 599 by 58 or you guys might want to import the banner and make slight adjustments to it which is a lot easier so I can I don't know color black stuff and then white stuff okay and now I just go to file 
save as and I'll save this as top.ex just in case take a look at your banners um, image format or type in this case this is it this is a GIF file yours might be I don't know maybe JPEG a PNG whatever it is try to follow that I don't know that um, type so just in case any problem occurs it might yeah I don't know but in my recommendation I recommend following the original files um, file type and just save it on your desktop or whatever you want and we're done and I'm gonna drag in my bottom layer and make slight adjustments to it for example I might color that white color two you guys might want to take your time on this I'm just as a matter of fact don't do what I'm doing I'm just doing this to show you guys a difference layer that difference later that it's actually working as a banner so you guys can see the difference I'm not going to show you guys how to make your banner so what I recommend you guys doing is maybe creating a new rectangle tool um, not rectangle tool but getting your rectangle tool and just hurrying over the part that you want to edit and then color it in and then add pictures whatever you guys want onto so there's my recommendation I don't I'm not I'm not gonna show you how to make the banner and all that stuff so yeah so just follow this maybe add a text and put blah and make this a tad bit bigger and we'll put this in the middle and we're gonna go file save as don't have much time left an EX and as you guys can see I'm saving it as a JPEG because the original file was a JPEG okay so I don't have much time left so I'm gonna rush through the rest and as you guys can see I've got my top example and my bottom example go back to your control panel go to your main page click on file manager browse through your files and upload the bottom and the top examples. This is the top one, and just upload it. Okay, here's the important part: go back to Tool, Page Info, Media, and find those two layers again. Okay, and as you guys can see, I've got this layer. What I want to do is I'm going to copy this part, the slash dot s part. Okay and every just a four slash or four thing and um everything behind that okay just copy that go back here onto your main page you guys might want to keep this open though so go back to your main page and go to customize design click on star sheet css and click control F on your keyboard to bring up this fine toolbar and we're gonna paste in that what we copied and as you guys can see it's highlighted right here meaning that's the image you route to the um, top banner so go back here copy your top banners URL and paste it into the J the highlighted part and click um, as a matter of fact go back here and find your bottom layer and copy this as well everything behind the forward slash dot s and you're pretty much done for now and um, go back here and find that code or link and click on your bottom layer and copy what you imported to the file manager and just paste in the highlighted link and save your template 
And if we refresh this page, you guys can see the difference, right? So, um, pretty much, that's all I've got for you guys today. Um, we're running out of time, so I'll see you guys next time. And if you guys want, please check out my website, fireworkstutorial.co.cc. You guys can request tutorials and join the community with the forums and everything there. So, pretty much, this is my tutorial for you guys. Hopefully, it helped you guys a bit and answered all the questions. And that's all I've got for you guys today, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.